Who wants to do a dissection? Say, I. Oh. Well, that's just the beginning of a lot of terrible eye puns and jokes in this eyeball dissection on bald guy size. So if you're ready for some blood, guts, and disgusting awesomeness, let's go. Okay, guys, so in this dissection, we're going to be doing a cow eye, and everything you're going to see is going to be broken down and explained in a bunch of different processes. So number one, we look at the outer eye, then we do the dissection, and it, all throughout that, we're going to be talking about anatomy and physiology, or in other words, you might have heard the terms form and function, part and job, but they all mean the same thing. So anatomy is the study of parts, and physiology is the study of what those parts do, their function, their job, their role, in maintaining home homeostasis and helping a multicellular organism uh, uh, thrive and live in the environment which it can. So let's go. So there are five things you need to find on the outside of the eye. The first one is the cornea. The cornea is a clear dome-shaped lens of sorts that does the focusing of light the first maybe 80 percent. If you're used to using a microscope, then a microscope has a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment when you're trying to bring things into focus. The cornea is sort of like a coarse adjustment. It brings things into a kind of focus and then we can get them sharp later on depending on how far away they are. So this is the cornea right here. It's not gonna be hard like a lens um, because it's been soaking in some preservative but that's the cornea, all right? And then next to it is the sclera which is the white part of the eye and it's a tough connective tissue layer that protects the eye. It will have some blood vessels and stuff, as you can see if you've ever had bloodshot eyes. This is the white part of the eye, and as I said, it's connective tissue. So those are the first two things you're gonna find on the front of the eye. Then as you flip the eye over, you should be able to find muscle, okay, fat, which is pretty easy to see what fat looks like, that yellowish, white stuff and then the optic nerve which you may or may not have to dig for so the optic nerve is essentially a wire okay so a nerve is just a pathway for information to be sent either to or from the brain and in this case it's a sensory pathway because your eye is part of your sensory network and it's going to send information to the brain to make sense of it all no pun intended okay so our, our eyeballs are going to collect information from the environment they're going to send that information along the optic nerve to the brain, but there's a bunch of other features and structures inside that have to process the light, convert it into an impulse, and then send it to the brain, which is... Now, making the first incision, you're going to take a scalpel, razor blade. Um, I would normally be doing this for you. And you're going to cut where the cornea and the sclera meet. So now you can see that the cornea is clear, okay? And then we're looking at the iris and the pupil. And what's interesting is most students think of the pupil as a black spot in the center of their eye, when in fact it's a weird statement to say the pupil doesn't exist. The pupil is a name for nothing, if that makes sense. It's a name for a space in something, the iris, but the only reason it appears black in our eye and every other organism on the planet is because there's no light behind that space. So if you were a creeper staring in your neighbor's windows when they're not home at night, which is less creepy than when they are home, um, if they don't have their lights on their windows, you might say their windows are dark. Well, their windows aren't dark, they're clear. It's just that there's no light behind them. So they appear dark. If all of a sudden somebody flipped on a light, you know, besides running away, hopefully not screaming and drawing attention to yourself and calling the cops, um, you're gonna notice that there is light back there and it's gonna look differently. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So because no light is coming out of our eyeballs, the, the opening that leads into the eye looks darkened, but it's really just an opening and it can be lit or not lit. In this case, it's starting to get some light in it. But normally the pupil would appear dark. So it's a space. And the iris's job, remember anatomy is the iris, that's a muscle, and its job is to constrict or dilate, which means to close or open the size of the pupil to regulate the amount of light that comes in. 
So if I were to flick the lights on to be slightly annoying and mostly fun, uh, your pupils would would shrink down because your iris would constrict it, the opening to reduce the amount of light coming into your eye. So that's that's its function, all right? And yes, in humans it's colored and adds some interest, but that for the most part is not really uh, consequential. So the next part that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the iris. You're gonna slide underneath with a pair of tweezers or forceps and you're gonna pull. My advice to you is to not try to pull the whole thing out at one time. Move uh, about a quarter of the way around and just slowly work your way around. Now, see that tore. And then once you get it to come loose, you just keep working your way around and eventually it will come off. And here's where I want you to notice when I lay it out with the blue background I'll let that focus for a second. You'll notice that the pupil in this case, this is a cow eye, not round, it's oval. So we'll talk a little bit about why that would be significant. A cow is a grazing animal, generally on the plains where things are flat and there's a lot of grass, its predators are not gonna come from above because it's a bigger animal. They're gonna come from its peripheral vision. An organism that has an oval shaped pupil is going to have greater peripheral vision than someone with a round one like you and I. Okay, Ours, our peripheral vision is equidistant in all directions. We have good north-south, like up and down, and, and right-left peripheral vision, where a cow is going to see better right-left than it is up and down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, the lens. And to remove the lens, I like to use tweezers. This one's actually pretty clear. And what you're going to do is you're just going to scoop under and around the lens and then you can just grab it with your tweezers and pop it out. Now one of the cool things you can do with the lens is you can put it on a piece of paper that has some print on it and move it around and watch it magnify on the letters as you move it around. So the lens's job, remember anatomy, that's the lens, physiology is its job. The lens's job is to focus light the rest of that 20%. So it has the ability to do two things. The lens can flatten itself out, it has layers like an onion, so that it can look at things that are far away. When things are far away, the light is coming in more parallel, the lens will flatten itself out and put that image in focus. But if something is up close, the lens will fatten out, not flatten, fatten out, and it will actually be able to focus on something up close to put that into focus as well. So the lens is the fine tuning of the focusing of light as it comes into the eye. But then that light has to pass through a cavity or an opening known as the vitreous humor. Now humor is just a space. There's two of them in the eye. And uh, this humor has a clear jelly-like substance in it known as the vitreous body. And I'm gonna tip that so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna give the eye a little squeeze. But depending on the eye, you have to be careful how much you squeeze it. So if I squeeze the eye, you're gonna see it come out. And then I'm gonna scrape some of it off just to get it out of the way. And then looking down inside, what we see is the retina up against the back of the eye. Now the retina is where the rod and cone cells are. Those are the specific nerve endings for sight, okay? Uh, they are sensory neurons and rods help us see in low light situations. Cones help us see color. So uh, as you see there, it looks sort of dull and gray and it's very delicate. If you squeeze too much of that vitreous body out of the way, you might detach the retina. Now, in order to get a better look at the retina, the best thing to do is to take your scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the eyeball, which is shaped sort of like a goblet, closes itself off, and we want to turn it more into a bowl. So what we're going to do is we're going to snip off about half a centimeter all the way around. And that's going to give us a better picture inside. And you're gonna notice two things are happening right now is one, the retina is starting to detach and fold inward, which you may or may, may not be able to tell. It's a very thin layer of cells. 
And this layer behind it is also detaching. Now you and I don't have that layer, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But, so if I want, I can pull the retina away, okay? So when I pull the retina away, and I'm gonna get some more of that vitreous body out of the way. There we go. I'm starting to destroy the retina a little bit. There we go. There's the rest of the vitreous body and some retinal cells. And I want you to look inside. This structure, if you've ever noticed an animal's eyes will reflect so maybe if the, the animals seen in like headlights or a spotlight or whatever, their eyes will reflect back to you. It's usually a green color. So uh, cows have this sort of iridescent green to blue. There's a really cool blue down in the bottom there that you may or may not be able to see. And you'll also notice that the retina will not come off in that spot right there. That's where the optic nerve begins. So as the retinal cells collect information from the outside environment, they pass it onto the optic nerve on its way to the brain. So this is where the optic nerve begins and the retina will not detach there. All right, I hope that dissection was something that you thought was pretty awesome. Um, check out all of our other uh, tutorials, tech tutorials, all sorts of stuff on Ball Guy Sai and on our blog, kicksomeclass.com. If you are a teacher looking for just like the quick hit, how do I do this dissection? Uh, there is another video out there that has no explanations, very low on the jokes, and uh, just the basic steps. I'll put that card up there if you want to check that out. And uh, other than that, we hope this helps you kick some class this year, and we'll. Catch you later.